know, I'm just home recently and so just still processing the expedition, but to come to the beautiful mountains again and, and feel that I can be out and walking and, you know, feeling strong again, I really enjoy. The K2 expedition, uh, I was in Pakistan for a little over two months. K2 is the second tallest mountain in the world and really technical and challenging. So for me, it is maybe the most difficult mountain I have ever climbed. The challenges from the weather and the avalanches and even personal like sickness made the mountain very difficult. But we were successful. I summited without supplemental oxygen uh, with my team. Uh, you know, this summit day took more than 24 hours, so it was a big, big challenge. You know, every year I go to Mount Everest. This is one of the places that I uh, love the most. I have spent 12 years on the mountain and summited eight times. So this year, first in April and May, I went to the Everest. And then after only five days of rest at home, I went to K2. And this, this was perhaps not the best setup. It was really difficult for me, for my body, to be able to handle both mountains. Uh, but I had some good luck and was able to be successful. Mount Everest and K2, even though they are the first and the second tallest, they are really very different mountains. Mount Everest is a much lower angle, so more easier walking and climbing. Uh, with K2, every inch of the mountain is technical. You are ice climbing and rock climbing very steep, using your hands uh, to get to the summit. So they have a very different feel to them. You know, I think uh, on these big mountains, you need as much information as you can get for safety. So one, of course, is my Favreluba Bivouac 9000. So this has a mechanical timepiece and mechanical altimeter and barometric pressure. And so mechanical means there is no battery to die. Yeah, I just wind every three days or so. I have guaranteed altitude information, which is the most important to know where we are on the mountain. And also, the time is so important, so we know how many hours we have been without oxygen and therefore how much longer we can continue to climb before we have to turn around. Yeah, so even here, of course, I love to know my altitude. And so here we are now about 2,650 meters, not so high as compared to K2 at 8,611 meters. Uh, but still, you feel the mountain air. It's uh, very different than being down in the town. Today we, today we are on one of the most famous hiking trails in Switzerland, the Five Lakes Trail. Of course, that means we visit five lakes in the mountains, but most importantly will be incredible views of the Matterhorn. And uh, right now the cloud is just lifting, so we see the first lake and the glacier behind, and soon, I am sure, we will see the Matterhorn for the first time. <laughs>